No. There is not a friend yes. like the Lord yes. Jesus. Yes. No, not one. Not one. No, not, not one. one. No friend like him. There is not a friend yes. like the Lord Jesus. Oh yeah. No, not one. Uh -huh. No, not one. None else can heal yes, all our soul's diseases. Oh, yeah. No, not one. Not one. No, not one. Yes. No friend like him yeah. is so high and holy. Yes, no, not one. Yeah. No, not one. Yeah. Greater love has no man yes, than to lay down his life for his friend. Right. Yes. Realize that Jesus Christ is the greatest friend that you'll ever have. Yes. And let nobody yes. and nothing yes. stand in your way yes. of obeying Jesus Christ. Come. Whatever you have to do, yes, sir. do it. Yes, sir. Let nobody yes, sir. and nothing stand in your way oh, yeah. of obeying Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Romans chapter 8, Paul also echoed this very sentiment of thought. As he was writing to the people in this imperial city, as he looked at the fact that they had endured much from the hands of their enemy, being a child of God is not always an easy task. Sometimes, as Dad referred to the fact, you can look for those who say that they'll stand with you. And then discover that they are standing against you. But Paul knew who in whom he had believed. Paul knew that he was persuaded. He was able to keep that which he had committed unto him against that day. Yes. So Paul asked the question here in Romans chapter 8 and beginning at verse number 35. Mm -hmm. Who shall separate us yeah. from the love of Christ? Amen. Pops just told you that love is not a mere feeling. Amen. It's not some warm fuzziness <laughs> that you feel around the corridors of your real case. You might want to take some Maalox or some gas if you're starting to feel warm in the real case. Might be a little gas, but it ain't gonna love. Love is something that has to be displayed with an action. Love is something that can be seen. And when you look back in retrospect, over all that Jesus has done for us. Oh, yeah. Not only can we call him our friend, yeah. we can echo what daddy said, he is the greatest lover yeah. of all time. Yeah. Matter of fact, the love that Jesus has, so powerful and it's so of such a nature yeah. Yeah. that Paul wanted to know who can separate us. Yeah from the love that Christ has. There's something so bonding about this love. There is a spiritual adhesiveness inherent within this love that Paul will stand here and declare to the children of God that there is literally nothing that can separate me from the love of Christ. I don't care how far I go. I don't care how long I walk. I don't care how lost I get. Nothing can separate me from the love that I have with Christ. Paul says, shall tribulation, shall distress, what about persecution? What about famine or nakedness? Perhaps pearl or sword? It has been written for thy sake. We'll kill all the day long. 
We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But Paul said, I don't care what I've gone through. I don't care what they say about me, Jenkins. It doesn't matter what they think about who I used to be. When I had sense enough to be a recipient of this love that God was extending unto me. Uh -huh. Once I understood how much God loved me. Yeah. And the opportunity that he was giving me to love him back in return. Once I became his and he became mine. Right. Paul said that there is literally nothing uh -huh. that can separate you from that kind of love. Amen. When Paul concludes this particular thought, he says, Nay, in all these things, yeah. we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Yeah. Being more than a conqueror would indicate not only do I win the game, yeah. Yeah. but I blow the devil off the court. <laughs> he didn't have a chance when he stood up against me in Christ. He didn't have, he was fighting a losing battle. Yes. When he stepped up to me and I had Jesus on my side. Yes. Paul says we are more than conquerors yes. through him that loved us. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, no death, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I learn when I look at that text that Paul said it don't matter what happens in your life. It doesn't matter about your economic status. Oh, <laughs> 